What is going on everyone and welcome to my beginner's guide for the Maw of Lorcage. Now, this is considered one of the tougher trials of the four and I'll try to do my best to explain how to do every phase and what to expect. So, this video, hopefully you guys are between the area of champion points 100 to 500 and by that point you should be able to run this and I'll do my best to explain everything. So until we get to the first boss, there's a few packs of ads you have to kill and the priority targets are the Sun Eaters and then everything else. So you made it to the first boss and here's what it's like. Essentially this is the easiest boss of the game. Uh, it's really just a burn phase and then everyone just rushes to kill it. So there are a few things you could do in this phase. So you see the platforms at the bottom that have like a little glowing aura on it. You could step on that and it'll bring up a platform and occasionally throughout the fight the boss will do this huge burst of damage and you want to stay behind that wall and after that that's pretty much it. Other than that just burn the boss and then there's not really much to it aside from his large pool of health. So this one's a pretty easy phase and we'll get right on to the next boss. So after you finish the first boss, you are taken to a new area where everyone gets on the horse to rush down to the bottom of the hill. And that's where all the ads spawn is like seven or so different waves. And what you're going to want to do first is once you get to the bottom of the hill, run all the way left into this little mine area. The door will be closed, but that's where the first things or the first set of ads spawn and then there are like six more waves after that and it's just uh, burn them all until the gate opens and that's probably another few minutes but it's not hard to do just take your time So you made it to the second boss. This is probably one of the more mechanical heavy bosses. It's not necessarily super difficult, but it does give most groups a lot of trouble simply because some people don't know what to do. So as you may imagine, there are two bosses in this area. Um, your group should be composed of two tanks, two healers, and then the rest are DPS. Uh, you're going to be splitting up into two groups, one healer on each side, one tank on each side, and then split the DPS. Now, uh, after that, it's just burn, and there are a few mechanics you have to watch for. Uh -huh. One is that the boss does a heavy attack, which will one-shot you, and that's not good. So your tank is in the front, everyone else is on the side, the healer should be on the side with you or in the back. And yeah, so a little bit, about 30% or more, the boss will split the room into two, and you see a side where it's either gold or blue depending on how fast one side is killing the boss while the other one is still working on it. It splits or it changes the room color and it puts a line right down the middle. Uh, when you see that happening, you can't cross the other side. And when you see the floor color, uh, that's the color of the boss you should be focusing on. Otherwise, the other boss takes like very minimal to none uh, other damage. So. Let's say the room is split into two, and then the blue floor is blue. That means you focus the blue boss. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to recognize the difference. So other than that, that should be as far as the mechanics go. So after the second boss, you go outside. There's going to be another pack of ads waiting for you. Uh, this is an outdoor battle. It shouldn't take more than a few minutes. But the way you do it is you clear the first ad set of ads that are out already and then one person will go up the stairs and like pull this lever which will spawn more ads on the right side after you clear those you move to the left side and then there's another lever you pull and it'll spawn some more ads on that side and then you kill those ads 
So once again, just another burn phase, more adds, and should be really easy. So right after you pick up the chest, after clearing out the panthers and all, pulling all the levers, you go into another room that's like a rectangle area, and once again, there are more adds. Except they spawn on the left and the right side. It's just a few waves of them. This time it's a little bit shorter. Uh, the priority targets are the Sun Eaters because they cast and that's pretty much it. Clear out all the adds and you should be good to go towards the final boss. So we made it to the final boss. There's a few things I should mention before we actually start. So once you get into the door, you're going to see a quick like 20, maybe 30 second uh, scene that's unfortunately you can't skip by just damaging the boss. So everyone moves to the back of the room and while the boss is going to be on the center plate, um, the reason why you move to the back is because that's the first panel or I guess circle as we'll call it, he's going to be on. Um, a few things I should mention is when the panels or the circles turn blue, you shouldn't be standing on it, it's an instant death. And when it's glowing gold, that means it's where he's going to be going next. So you can position yourself accordingly. And so the first 10 seconds or so, what you're going to be doing is ranged attack just because you're going to have to rotate really quickly. So I don't expect anyone to be doing more than like 3% of his health during the opening while he's in the center. The next part is he's going to be jumping on the panel where everyone rotated all the way into the back. And for the first like 30 or so seconds, he's going to just stand there and then attack. Your tank should be taunting it. And then everyone just burns it. Don't stand on the circles because occasionally at random, well, it's not really at random. He flies into the air. So after a few rotations of him moving, you guys are going to see more blue circles on the ground. Obviously blue is bad in this case, so don't stand on it. And then gold is where he's kind of rotating next. Um, after a few rotations, he's going to summon a Hulk minion. Uh, that's uh, essentially an add. You kill it first. It doesn't take that long to kill it. If you have a good team, just DPS it down. That's uh, priority. And then you focus the boss again. So after that, he just keeps going into a counterclockwise circle until about halfway. And by that time, he should be about like 80% dead, hopefully. And don't stand on the circles directly, even if it's gold, just because he's going to be in the center or like between the two circles. So that's the best place to angle yourself. Uh, and you should be stacked so the healer can just AOE heal and it makes things easy. If everyone's spread out, it makes it more difficult. So to stand between the circles, don't. Uh, stand in front your tanks are there because they're taunting it I guess and tanking so you want to be on the side or in the back stacked behind the boss and then once he gets about halfway and about 80% he clears all the blue circles and he flies back to the center and then that should be the final push and that's how you or where you're gonna be killing the boss at and then after that um, just keep killing all the ads and burn the boss down, don't stand in the blue. Don't really stand in the gold either. I mean, the gold is safe to stand in, but it's better if you just stand between the circles because the boss positions himself between it and you want to stack onto your group more or less. And so you get heals and then all your buffs are stacked. It makes it easier since I assume most healers are going to be running combat prayer or either spell power cure and all that stuff. So. Getting hit with all the buffs is generally a good thing. Don't spread out. And occasionally, midway, the boss will target one person with like an exploding aura that shoots out a lot of balls. Um, if you're that person, you'll see a red circle under you. Uh, don't stand in, or don't stack when that's happening. You want to run either backwards because it's going to shoot out some like blue orbs. All around you in like a 360 degree angle. You want to either back up and get away from your group, and then after that, that should be done in about three seconds. Go back to stacking and burn the boss until he's dead. Kill the ads, and that's pretty much the entire boss fight. 